Hey family, I am extremely excited to be back with all of you and today I have a model who is looking for a super unique gig that is unlike anything else. She's Vanessa. She's 21 years old. She has her hair completely natural. Let's see Vanessa. Introduce yourself to my family here over high. I am Vanessa. So I want a haircut that is shorter in the back and longer in the front and I want a pink color. Do you want a fantasy pink coloration? You want the color to be pink, right? And based on Vanessa's description, she desires a concave hairstyle, specifically one that is shorter in the back and longer in the front. So in this video, Vanessa, what is your opinion if we simply perform the cut and then make an additional recording in order to provide you with the pink color? What do you say? For me, it's all good. Sounds good to me. Does it seem perfect to you? So family, we're going to have a next video where we're going to do the pink coloring because otherwise we would have a very, very long video. Today we're going to give her a haircut and believe me, this girl, look at her closely, look at her closely. She looks amazing. You all ask me for fantasy looks and you know, I am here to please you. I love to please you. That is why you should keep writing to me down here in the comments section. Let me know what videos you would like me to make and I will be more than happy to create them for you. Please remember to subscribe so that you can receive notifications every time we upload a new video and stay up to date with all the content that we post on our channel. But let's not waste any more time and let's go with Vanessa's haircut. Let's initiate with the sections in order to provide Vanessa with a haircut. I would like you to observe that at the bottom of the neck, I have created a section in the shape of an inverted V. I made the separation on the sides that we typically utilize. We can initiate by addressing the haircut situated at the back of the neck area. I would like you to note that I have taken a vertical line in the center and I am combing it very well, bringing it to the center and cutting it at a 90 degree angle. This is going to be a concave mane where the back is going to be shorter. I take the side and bring it to the center, looking for the center guide, and cut at a 90 degree angle, pulling slightly towards the center point to ensure accuracy and precision. I do the same procedure again, but taking the whole section, I comb it perfectly well, I bring it to the center, I gently pull the side that I hadn't cut, I bring it to the center and cut at a 90 degree angle. I am currently getting a zero degree haircut and I would like you to please notice that it already looks slightly shorter in the center and longer on the sides. Currently, we will comb the hair at a zero degree angle. I will mark the desired length on Vanessa. I gather the hair precisely in the center and cut at zero degrees, holding the remaining hair to prevent movement and ensure greater accuracy. This technique guarantees the desired result by maintaining precision during the cutting process. I comb very well and ensure that the cut is evenly done. I check thoroughly to make sure there are no stray hairs, and if there are any, we cut them. I comb back to a zero degree angle and check to ensure that there are no split ends. It is crucial for all of you to consistently check in order to obtain greater accuracy in the cut and enhance overall precision. After conducting a thorough check of the cut, I proceed to grab all the hair, lift it to an angle of 135 degrees, 
identify the shortest guide and make the cut at that specific height. I want you to notice that the back of the neck is slightly textured. I proceed to take my next section in the exact same way as I did before, forming an inverted V shape, ensuring that I comb it perfectly at a zero degree angle, and then proceed to make my cut right in the center of the section, just like I did previously. In addition, I buzzed the side at zero degrees and made an effort to blend it with the center guide during the haircut. Once I cut it, I carefully checked to ensure that there are no sharp edges. On the neighboring side, I carry out the exact same procedure as before. Once the cutting is done, I check again to ensure that the cut is perfectly even. I am going to retrieve my next section using the same approach that I have used previously. It is of utmost importance that when you are going to do a haircut and you want it to be very even, I highly recommend that you do it on damp hair and ensure that it is well hydrated so that you can achieve greater accuracy when cutting the hair. This will ensure that you get the desired results and a perfectly even haircut. Here we're gonna buzz cut at zero degrees. We're gonna find the center guide and cut at zero degrees. At the moment, the cut is going to change slightly. If you all observe, I am pulling the side towards the center to make a small adjustment. On the neighboring side, I perform the identical procedure once more by gently pulling it towards the center in the same manner as before. By pulling it slightly towards the center, this will give us a longer look on the sides of the object. We should finish with the back part and proceed to lower the last section of the task. We meticulously comb everything with precision at zero degrees and execute a precise cut to the center, ensuring flawless results in our work. We comb at a temperature of zero degrees and cut straight in accordance with the guidance provided in the previous step. Remember, it is of utmost importance to always adhere to the previous guide in order to obtain more precise cuts and enhance your results. If you have any leftover tips, Remember that you also have to remove them. We carry out the exact same cut on the adjacent side. We carefully search for our guide and make the cut at the same level as the guide, ensuring precise alignment and accuracy in our work. To finalize this haircut, I am going to create a section at the crown where you can visibly see a V shape. We will ensure that this section is perfectly secured and elevate it to an angle of 180 degrees, providing a precise and polished finish to the haircut. We comb it perfectly well, lift it up, and then we are going to cut, searching for the smallest guide and carefully remove that triangle shape. What occurs when they perform this procedure on the cut? It will provide you with additional volume at the crown and the cut will appear as if it has a greater amount of movement. I suggest that you utilize this technique on this kind of hair because it truly enhances the haircut. At this moment, I am going to the side and my intention is for you to observe how I pull the hair back and search for the center guide, then proceed to cut it diagonally. The purpose of this technique is to create the illusion of a longer front section, enhancing the overall appearance. In the subsequent section, I execute the same procedure, meticulously combing the hair to ensure it is perfectly styled, then pull it back, carefully searching for my center guide 
and proceed to cut it at a precise angle, slightly tilted towards the center of the neck in order to achieve the desired result. After cutting the hair, we will comb it to the side at a zero degree angle and make sure that we do not have any split ends. Our next step will be shaping the hair in the same manner as before, ensuring a consistent and desired look. Let's proceed to the subsequent side and we will perform the same procedure as we did previously in order to continue with our task. I want you to observe how this haircut appears. You have the option to wear it in a straight style or with waves, and it has a really cool appearance. Now, we are going to apply a liquid sculpting technique to give this cut its final touch and perfect its overall appearance. We are already observing the final result of Vanessa, and it is evident that this haircut enhances her beauty. Vanessa is a girl who has the luxury of choosing any hairstyle she wants because her oval-shaped face is versatile and suits any haircut perfectly. Additionally, this particular style is an ideal wild card option since it has the ability to enhance the appearance of both mature women and young girls alike. It is a haircut that, if you are 40 years old or older, it rejuvenates you. So I highly recommend it to all of you who want to look more youthful, regardless of your age or the number of years you have lived on this earth. Thank you all, my beloved family, for joining me in this haircut tutorial. Remember, there is a pending video where we are going to dye Vanessa's hair pink. It is of utmost importance that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive timely notifications whenever I upload new videos. Please remember that your comments are highly valuable to me because they are the reason I upload videos. These videos aim to demonstrate how you can effectively perform various procedures, whether at home or at a beauty or hair salon, ensuring that you do them correctly. I am immensely grateful for your support and want to send you a big hug and numerous blessings as a token of my appreciation for your continuous encouragement and engagement.